Welcome to Connecting an EasyScript Device to a Citrix Server. We're going to open the Citrix Server by clicking on its icon on the desktop. This could take a while, so please be patient. Now open your browser and go to scriptel.com forward slash support forward slash downloads. This is the place on the Scriptel site where all of our software that is available for public use is kept. After the page loads, scroll down until you see the ScriptTouch Sign and Save area. Then click the blue Download Now button to download and start installing the software to your Citrix desktop. When the end user license agreement is shown, you must confirm that you accept the terms of the license agreement by clicking on the radio button. Now that sign and save has been installed, I'm going to close the browser and minimize the server window so that they're out of our way before we begin the next step. Step 2. Installing ScriptTouch Toolbox on your local desktop. From your local desktop, open up a browser and go to the page scriptel.com forward slash support forward slash downloads. This is the page that we went to earlier and has all of the downloads for ScriptTel software. Once the page finishes downloading, scroll down to the area that says ScriptTouch Toolbox. Click the blue Download Now button to download and start installing the software onto your local machine. When the End User License Agreement appears, confirm that you accept the terms by clicking on the radio button. Now that I'm done installing the ScriptTouch toolbox, I'm going to minimize the browser window and open the Citrix window so I can begin the next step. Step 3. Run Sign and Save on the Citrix server. Open Sign and Save by double-clicking its icon on the Citrix desktop. At this point, Sign and Save on the Citrix server is ready to receive input from the pad, but if the connection speed is too slow, you may not see any data. Step 4. Making Adjustments to the Pad. Open the local copy of the Script Touch toolbox by double-clicking on its icon. Click on the Output tab to display the output settings for the device. If the connection speed between the pad and the Citrix server is too slow, adjust the packets per second speed to be between 70 and 100. Optionally, you can compress the output or stream the output to improve the performance over a slow connection. Note, these two options may not work with older versions of ScriptTouch software. Now that I've made adjustments to the output settings of this pad, it is working fine on the system. If you've made these adjustments and are still not getting output from your ScriptTel pad, either look at the developer's FAQ section of our website or contact us through email or telephone and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.